Hey guys, hi and oh, welcome to the video. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you something very interesting here. How to load modules, packages or libraries dynamically from AWS S3 into your Python code at runtime. What do I mean by that? Let me show you. Uh, this is really interesting if you're into uh, making libraries and packages. Say I have this amazing library that I've developed, a class, okay? So essentially it prints up foo. So now what I want to do essentially, the goal or the idea is I want to upload that file on AWS S3 here. So I uploaded that file mod.py and now in my code I want to dynamically um, you know call this function. This function I haven't returned it. This function is on the cloud on S3 and I'm going to use it in my code. How do I even do that? Well there, there are a couple of things to do but um, I, I have I, I try to you know make your, make your life a little bit easier here. So I made a small a helper library here essentially. Uh, wait I think I have a small typo here. Oh I think JSON is not defined. Let me define that import uh, let me clean that up okay so essentially I I, I, I I made a small library for you which uh, does all the job for you so essentially what you can do is you can write your classes ship your classes to AWS s3 and then uh, in your code if you want to use these modules or packages you can use it like a charm uh, I would show you how to do that so in order to use this library uh, you would basically uh, in, instantiate a class called uh, loader here you would provide the AWS S3 key. Once you provide the key, you would say you run the method get instance. And then whatever um, class you have in your Python code, for example, I had a class called foo. This one basically at dynamically at runtime, it's gonna go to the S3, it's gonna download the module, and it's gonna work. So as you can see, the code is there on the S3, essentially. Again, as I'm saying, uh, mod.py, this is the uh, Python code that I have on AWS S3. The job is to dynamically get that class at uh, in Python code at runtime. So this is how, you know, a simple library, uh, if you want to know the idea or the gist of it, basically you download the file as a blob object or a binary object. Once you download the binary object, then there are a couple of, um, uh, you know, methods you have to run. For example, I'm using import lib and you'd, uh, import lib module. Uh, this would basically, you know, create a module and then you can use it uh, in your code. Essentially, this is uh, really, really important because now you can uh, basically ship your uh, code and packages or modules or helper methods uh, into AWS S3 and dynamically use in your code at runtime. So let's say you want you, you developed a class or a module. Now you want to use that module in your code at runtime. Well, just dump it on S3 and then if you want to use on if you want to use that um, if you want to use that in your um, you know as I code, you can simply instantiate use this class and you can do it. As you can uh, see, the possibilities are endless. This opens up a lot of things. Uh, it's a little bit slow because it has to download the file and then you know. Um, uh, create that module using import lib and stuff, but this is the way you do it. Hope you have enjoyed it. The code is in the description. Check it out, try it out, and let me know if you have any more questions. Uh, by the way, keep smiling, keep coding, keep learning, and I will see you guys in the upcoming next video. Thank you so much for watching.